Hello guys, today we have the Moto G5 Plus with us and we are going to do an unboxing and an overview of this amazing device. So, let's get started. The variant I have with me is the 32GB Lunar Grey one. It comes with 4GB of RAM. The price mentioned on the box is 17,000 rupees, but I got it from Amazon in about 15,000. On the back, we have some basic specs overview. The display is a 1080p Full HD one, which spans 5.2 inches. We have a Snapdragon 625 as the chipset, which is a 2 gigahertz octa core one. We have a 12 megapixel rapid focus camera as the rear camera and a 3000 mAh battery which will easily last you one single day. The camera implements dual for autofocus pixels which supposedly have a very fast focus. So we'll take a look at it. We also have a bundled turbo power charger which charges the device pretty quickly. So let's get to the unboxing. I have the pretty rusty and my trusted knife with me. So let's open it up. We have the phone with us, but let's just keep it to the side and look at what's in the box. Wow, the charger is pretty big and uh, it is rated at 5 volts 1.6 amps, 9 volts 1.6 amps and 12 volts 1.2 amps. So it's a proper charger. We have some pretty basic headphones which I won't suggest anybody to use. The SIM ejector tool and the USB cable which is uh, a usual USB not Type-C and some user manuals. Let's have an overview of the device. On the front we have the front facing fingerprint scanner, the earpiece which also doubles up as the speaker, yes this device doesn't have a dedicated speaker and the front facing camera. On the right edge we have the volume rockers and the power button and yes the power button is textured so you'll easily find it. On the left edge we don't have anything. On the back we have the rear facing camera which has a prominent camera hump, a dual LED flash, secondary noise cancellation microphone and a Moto logo which is embossed. On the rear we have the USB, the primary microphone and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the top we have a SIM card tray and uh, let me show you. And, uh, Yes, uh, this phone does support a dedicated SD card and two SIM card slots. Okay, so now let's boot the device. But first we should uh, remove this. And the first boot probably takes a little more time. And uh, we'll have the configuration overview while I set this device up. Here are my initial impressions of the Moto G5 Plus. It is great to hold and the build quality is excellent. Thanks to the metal body, it feels sturdy. Talking about the performance, it is fast and fluid. I encountered no lags in the games as well as the UI, thanks to the Snapdragon 625 and 4GB of RAM helps you heavily multitask and switch between the apps. No lags or frame stuttering whatsoever. The display is bright and renders colors accurately. 
Also, it is protected with a Gorilla Glass 3, so you need not worry about the accidental scratches that might happen. The camera is best in the price range, hands down. The 3000mAh battery easily lasts you one full working day. And even if you are a heavy user, you can use the included turbo charger, top it up in the evening and still get going up to the night. So that's all I can say after using the device for a few hours. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And like, share, subscribe for more content. Thank you.